Welcome back to another episode on the Zero Tick server. It's a beautiful sunny day here in the snow and ice. And it is episode 8. Yay! So you can see I am rocking my new wings, thanks to the combined efforts of Mimpa and Shatter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I now have a little, of course, fruit flower farm. Very, very... I use the term farm loosely. Because uh, there's been a few changes in my in our uh, Mimpas in my little shop. We I'm selling a couple new items. I'm selling end rods, um, as well as uh, golden carrots and end rods. So, um, although I think I already told you about the golden carrots. So for today's episode, we have a menagerie, maj paj things to do. Uh, so, so we've taken a kind of taken a break from working on stuff around the base to go out and about. The so this is going to be the animal pen for the dolphins and the turtles I told you about. The roof line is finished. So I've got the glass all done. It's all enclosed so I can put all kinds of water underneath and it will not freeze due to being in the snowy biome. So I decided just to go with the support beams and to leave it open to the surrounding air rather than enclosing the whole thing. Just because, I don't know, I kind of like the openness of it. Plus the turtles aren't, aren't going to like... This one they can, but they can't hop over the barrier there. So kind of like what we did with the polar bears here, where they, they can't get out. Hi! <laughs> okay. So that's what's going on here. So now I can start working on this area. So this is what I got so far, so I want to show you what it looks like now before I start really working on it, because I'm going to expand that puddle out, I'm going to raise the water level, I'm going to take out all this grass and replace it with sand. Um, I might keep a couple patches of grass, but it's going to be mostly all sand. And then we're going to see what I do up there, because I am going to create a tiny little waterfall here. Uh, so I'm going to start working on that. Um, Oh, yeah. I've also been working on the basement with Mimpug being out and about. He is currently working on, or he's not in game right now, but he is currently working on a slime farm over here in his uh, evasive farm district. So I figured he was going to be bringing home a bunch of stuff. So we're going to need a place for it. So you can see the stairs are now moved. They used to go that way. I moved them. And I've been working on our basement area. So this is, I'm going for the end stone brick, like I said in one of the other episodes. I really do like building with this brick. It's a nice alternative sandstone. So you can see how I've gotten some stuff. I moved all of Mimpa's little tiny farm little things here successfully. Um, his little automated elevator for the item elevator that goes up to the kitchen that I've, because he just dumps crap in there, I've been calling it the uh, garbage disposal even though it's going the wrong direction to be a garbage disposal. And then this is the... Yep, this is the cobblestone... the cobblestone maker. So this is why it's all in stone brick rather than what I'm going for for the walls, just because we're dealing with lava and water. How did the torch get in here? Okay. Um... Ah, that was weird. Anyway. So the stairs will come up here to go to the uh, ground level. And this is going to be my color scheme. So we've got the red carpet, and then the flooring, the wainscoting, and then the walls. However, I needed a lot more. I I'm running out. I don't have I, I don't have enough to do this for the walls. So I'm kind of at a standstill. Plus, to doing taking all this out is tedious. So uh, later on this episode we're going to fight the wither so we can get ourselves a beacon so I can clear all this out, make a big storage room over here. Uh, I'm going to de uh, decorate this area so I'm going to put up a nice little hallway, some little decorations here and there. So this is just a nice little run from there, out there, from the portal to the upstairs and back again just for efficiency's sake. So yeah I've been kind of a little busy, not as busy as I'd like to be. Uh, I ran into some technical issues on the last episode, so that took that sucked up a lot of my time. And with that, let me get working on this this area over here. We'll start making it turtle friendly, and then I'm going to look to see maybe I can get some dolphins back over here now that they have plenty of space. 
to hop around and get their air. So let me just show you up here. I still have to decorate their area. It's still just dirt in there. So I want to throw in some you know, seagrass, maybe some kelp, some different stuff in there. So it's so it's homey because it's not homey right now. And I got to put in an access door. I need to be able to get in there. Um, not just to put them in there, but just, I don't know, because I need an access door. So I'm going to do that too. All right, so I'll, I'll get working on this and uh, see you shortly. So I've worked on the area a bit. As you can see, I've got sand in now here. Um, and I also have a bunch of kelp in there so that all those water blocks become source water blocks. So I have to remove the bulk of that kelp now that it's all grown. Um, you see I sculpted this area just a bit. Um, again, I want to try to keep the natural landscape as much as possible, which brings me to our next bit. I had a bright idea. So as I was making the pond for the turtles, I realized it was too small. I needed to make it bigger than I originally planned. So in order to do that, I had it up against this wall. It's like, well, if it's going to be against the wall, there should be a viewing area, kind of like what we have up, up, up there. So I put in this. Okay, well, if we need a viewing area, we need to be able to get down there. One idea led to the next, which led to the next. So now I have stairs going down, so we can see the turtles in the water once the kelp is cleaned out and we have turtles in there. And then I decided that I was going to terraform the whole hill. Because, yeah, w why not, right? <laughs> um, also, I do have, we do have dolphins again. We have dolphins. It, it took a try or two, but I have, we have, we have dolphins. Look, look. There they are. Look at them happy, jumping around. Okay. Um, so I did make a little access area. It's partial. A little platform here. So we have a door. So we could go, so ooh, look at the jump. Look at that good jump. Yeah, I think it was just too low before, because that, that was a pretty good jump. So one is named Echo, and one is named Flipper. Which one is which? This one is... Well, don't swim away. Yep, this is Echo. Hi, Echo. And that one over here must be, this must be Flipper. Hi, Flipper. All right. Again, my ideas. One led to another, which led to another. Okay, so we had the back viewing area for the dolphins, right? Which I partially did that. Again, I'm still just kind of work in progress. So I'm going to do this for the real rail system. For the railing, sorry, railing. So we can see the dolphins. So I was just like, well, I can't just go this far and have an end. So I'm going to have it wrap all the way around. Well, I don't want it to just wrap all the way around. How boring would that be? So I'm... Like I said, terraforming this whole hill. Now this cave, this little cave here, I blocked off this section here and this section here. This was here. This is natural. This cave is natural. Um, there's another one over here um, along around the corner there. So I decided, big bright idea, the turtle pond is going to extend into this cave and I'm going to fill in, I started filling a little bit, just a little bit of dirt here and right there. I'm going to fill this whole area in with dirt and stone and it's going to be another waterfall. So there's going to be a waterfall on that side, with, you know, right there, and there's going to be a waterfall right here. Now the fun part is, as we walk through, we'll be on this, the inside of the waterfall. So the water will be like right here, right in front of your face, right here. And then the stream will go that way. And then in here will be like like walking in the cage type of thing with the turtles. So I'll just open this whole area up and connect it to the turtles. I'll probably end up putting more glass so that we can see the dolphins because it might extend that far. So I'll have to play around with it and see. But I wanted to, I've been pecking away at this. So this is what I've got, this is what I got so far. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this turns out because I'm excited with how it's shaping up. All right, I'm going to get back to work. Let me get to the front again. I still have to wrap this around somehow. I'm not sure because the, excuse me, the polar bear pen is like right there. I'm not sure how I'm going to wrap that around or if that will be a dead end. And then the main entrance to the walk, the walk, walking through the boardwalk will be here. I don't know. I have to think about that yet. But anyway, I am almost ready to put trees in. Fake, fake trees, palm trees. <clears throat> and then I'm going to keep working on the terraforming. 
All right, so I've been working on this, picking away at it. I've done more on it. Um, as you can see, there's stuff back there. Um, so I got this. I already had this stairwell before. I showed you that. But this, I've been terraforming the rest of the hill. I told you I was going to, I was going to, I took up that little bit too. Um, I mentioned that I was going to open it up on the inside. Here it is. So you come around and bam, you've got this cave with this little bridge railing going through it. And I'm going to, I also do is flood all this. Flood it and then add in vegetation, like water vegetation and stuff and um, the uh, sea pickles for lighting. But it's been a fun little project terraforming this and making the cave. And then you go through here and you can see into the dolphin area. Like from underneath. Look at him swim! Aww. So that's fun. Alright, then you come through here and it brings you out to the, the back viewing area. And you can I had have to finish the stairs yet. But you come up here, brings you to the access door and the side area. I still haven't decided if I'm going to continue this on or just have it end here. But while we're up here, you see we have visitors. Again, what is it with the sheep pen? I don't understand why they like the sheep so much. I do not want them to kill my llamas though. So we'll have to take care of that too. But anyway, um, you know, I'm just busy working on working on this stuff and then bam, there they are. <sighs> Rude pillagers. So let's go back through here real quick. I'm looking forward to the next step, which is flooding. Flooding that, making it actually water. <laughs> and I have to add trees and stuff yet. I have not gotten a chance to add the, the fake palm trees or anything to this area. I literally have been just working on the cave. All right, let's kill these guys. All right, I got my bow. Make sure there's no animals in the way. Let's come up here. Okay, we should be able to do it from here. Don't miss, I don't wanna hit my llama. Okay, yeah, and I'm high enough they're not getting the sheep. Oh, look at that, he died. Okay, good. And he died from fire, so I don't have bad omen. Awesome. Yay, I love my bow. Yep, there he goes. Okay, sweet. That wasn't so hard. I was wise about it this time around. Uh-oh, why do I still hear one guy? Ugh! Turn the cows, too! I didn't know that they were there. Did you see that? I didn't see that. Uh, all right. Well, going up high worked. I don't want them to kill my mushrooms either. Let's go up here. Let's snipe them from up here. Okay. A little higher. There goes one. And two. Let the fire. Is the fire you can get them? Nope. There he goes. Alright, now that's it. Oh man. We got our banner. Okay, make sure we have no bad omen. Nope. Okay, good. Probably because the fire from my arrows killed him, because I've got I have flame on my bow, and that's I think what did him in. Alright, cool. Let's go place the banner with the other banners. And then I want to go take those uh, wither skeleton skulls and I want to kill some withers. So let's place this banner and then let's head over to, um, we're going to do it in the end, which I haven't done before. So let me grab what I need to do. Let me grab the heads and everything and then we're going to head into the end to kill us some, uh, some big boss withers. Alright, so I'll see you there. Alright, we are here at the end portal. Let's hop in. All right, now Shatter made an area for fighting the wither underneath the portal here. So let's find it. I think it's up near this area front. Okay, here it is. I think it's near this. Is this it? Yep, yeah, here we go. Okay, so we have everything that we need. So let's, let's see. 
Okay, I see how this works. Look at that. That's nice. Isn't this awesome? Okay, can I reach? No. Alright, four soul sand. I'm kind of nervous. Oh, I'm so nervous! <laughs> okay, ready? Ready? Here we go! We're doing it! We're doing it! Woo! Look at those heart bars go up. Ooh. Okay. It's not so bad. Wow. I don't think I'm ever gonna do it in the end nether again. It's so much easier to do it in the end. Of beauty right there. Yay! Awesome. Cool. Invulnerable Wither's Head. What makes him invulnerable? Is there a vulnerable one? Is there more than one? If we have an invulnerable Wither's Head, does this mean we can get a vulnerable Wither's Head? Say that five times fast. Right, that's what, okay, let's do this again. That wasn't so bad. I've never done it in the end before. I've always done it in the nether. I don't know if I'm going to go back. This is kind of nice. This is also a pretty sweet setup too, so thanks to Shatter. head. That's pretty cool. We've got two different types of heads. Oh, that's fun. I like that. Okay. One left. Ready? armored with his head and one invulnerable and then the three nether stars. Awesome. All right, so let's uh oh, that's so cool. let's head home and craft these in the beacons. All right, so we need nine obsidian and a bunch of glass. So, let's see if I can't find where the obsidian is. Um I know we have obsidian. There we go. Nope, that's cool. Um where's the obsidian? Oh, obsidian. Yeah, I'm still. I will label these once it's finished. I, don't, I thought it would be in this one, but it's not. Where'd they go? There's two. That's not going to get us very far. You know where I know there's a bunch of obsidian? I think Mimpa has obsidian, but I don't know if he has it in his inventory or in a chest. However, that is really, really far away on his mushroom island invasive farm area. Mm, do we fly over there and paw through any chests he has sitting out and about? Yeah, let's do it. <sighs> Alright, 
Yeah. I've got 49 rockets. Let's get more rockets. Uh, 57 rockets. Mm. You know what? Let me go up into my bedroom. Grab a diamond from my personal diamond stash. Uh, four left. Okay. These are all diamonds I've mined, by the way. That's the mine. The diamonds I keep in the under chest is all just from the shop. So that's... Uh, so can you believe it? We've earned four, 64 diamonds from the shop already. So that's awesome. Um, so far, I'm, I'm not touching those. I'm only when I spend diamonds, I'm only doing the stuff that I personally mind. I don't know how long I'm going to keep that up for, but let's go to the shops and um, buy some more rockets because it's it's quite a distance away. Thankfully, I mean we can fly the other by the nether, but it's quite the hike. And as you see, it's one short little rocket to get really quickly over here. Okay. So let's see, I think you just, yeah, just need rockets. Oh yeah, look at this. Isn't that great? Coals? That's so fun. <laughs> I like the like the department store, but spilled wrong. I love it. It's very awesome. And then oh I didn't I didn't show you guys this last time. It's like the Z Bay listings. I love it. It's so fun. So looking for a black cat, fizzy. Concrete for sale at Grindy Geary's. Oh yeah, this new shop. We should go over there and look at that too. And rods now available at the Den. That's my little my little slip of paper. And then rockets now for sale at the Observer. And that's what we're here for. But let's quick take a stop in at our shop. And we still have to extend out our path. I really should do that. All right. So you see a couple more things have grown. So they have the end rods. So I, I was crafting them up like crazy. Um, Shatter was looking for them. That's how it, that whole thing got started. So, and I happened to have a bunch of chorus flowers and chorus fruit from the end, from that first night, that, the time I was in there. I brought home a bunch of stuff, so I just quickly, you know, got that all crafted up. I've been adding to the golden carrots. Now we're one stack away from having full inventory in there. Been busy trading with villagers, getting that done. Okay. Good on that. I've been slowly doing the nether work too so I can get this full. And I'm trying to keep one spot empty for Mimpa for when he does um, his next thing for, for uh, selling. Because he wants to do lodestones. I think he still wants to do that. He's got a lot of projects going right now. Alright, let's go look at this grindy Gary's. Woo! That's <laughs> so fun. Look at all the look at the chains. It reminds me like of those little tiny shops that are like you see in like big cities on the busy streets. You know, to kind of you know keep people from breaking the windows. Kind of reminds me of a pawn shop, kind of, sort of. It's this crabby guy behind the counter. Need a larger quantity? Leave your request below. Delivery included. Yes, sir. Gravel, three stacks per diamond. Sand, three stacks per diamond. Cobblestone, three stacks per diamond. Concrete, neutrals, warms, and cools. Two stacks per diamond, any color. Bricks, two stacks per diamond. And wood, two stacks per diamond, mix and match. Neat. Very handy. Okay, um... I don't think there was much done with coals. I think it's still under construction. Yeah, under construction. Oh, look at this. The bee department. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, I was talking to Fizzwitch earlier about these because I noticed that Lena Heels' shop is like partly torn down. Um, they are actually removing this. Uh, this is going to go away now. So it was just kind of a temporary thing, I guess. So this will, this will be this will be gone. And then up here, Fizz was saying, is going to be for like any mini games and things like that that people want to build. And she is creating one up there. It's, I guess, going to be a mini escape room. So that should be kind of fun. All right, we came here for rockets. <laughs> rockets, rockets. Mimpa is almost done with his slime farm. He's got the big hole dug. One diamond for three stacks. Okay, three stacks. One, two, three, and the diamond. Okay. 
that we got plenty of rockets to get there. Alright, so I'm going to be flying through the nether portal and then trying to figure out where on his island it is, and I will see you there. Alright, we are here. Alright, so let's take a peek around here. Oh, he's got all kinds of stuff. Set up. <gasps> Look! We didn't even have to go that far. Nice, I'm going to just take half of that. Okay, cool. Oh, we can do it here. I wonder where, where on his island the big hole is while we're here. Oh, I'm, I think that, is that it? Is it really that close to the portal? Let's see what he's been up to. Oh my goodness. It doesn't go down as far as I thought it was going to go down. But there again, if it's a slime farm, there should be platforms. I would be so tempted to go down there and take a closer look, but there's no way to get down there without finagling and I don't want to die. He died so many times working on this, I was calling him Scar. If you watch the Hermits, you know what I mean. <laughs> That's quite the hole. I think it, yeah, look, look, look. It goes all the way down to bedrock. Check that out. Wow. Yeah, he's, he's been busy. Busy sheep. Okay. And we have, oh, I didn't bring any glass. Oh, I, I do have glass with me. Oh, nice. So I hope you want to, yeah, that's great. Because I was working on the, uh, I was working on the animal pen, so I still have glass in my, in my inventory from that. So let's do this right here. Let's do it right here. Look at that beautiful sight. One, two, three beacons. Nice. Now I just have to figure out how many blocks of whatever I need in order to activate those suckers. And I don't remember how much it is to, to do it. I'll have to look it up. Cool! Yay! Let's take these home. Let's take these home. Okay, home is this way. Alright, see you at home. Alright, so we're back home. I did look it up. We need 164 blocks to make one active beacon. That's two stacks plus 36 blocks. So let's go over to Mimpa's iron farm and see how much iron is over there. But let's sleep first. I don't want to do with mobs. Alright, let's run up to the bedroom real quick. Okay, now that we slept, let's go over there. I'm just going to take a quick um, rocket flight. There we go. I love having wings. Big thanks to Mimpa and Shatter. I love having wings. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh! That is a lot of iron. Oh my goodness, Mimpa's farm! Oh. Okay, well let's just start grabbing. Because we are going to need, like I said, two stacks plus 36 block, the blocks, actual blocks. So this is, let's see here. Um, one, two, okay, so that's one stack of 64. And then, I can visualize it better if I do this in my inventory. So that's one stack. That's two stacks. One, two, if I'm thinking right, yeah? And then 36. I don't know. Well, let's see what this does, huh? I, I know there's, here it is. Yep, one stack is 64. Two stacks of 64. And let's see. Ah. <laughs> I, I really can do this. You know, it's it's really not that hard to turn ingots into into blocks. Alright, so we have a couple extra, because we need plus 36, so we have 
that's what we need right there for one beacon. All right, now I mentioned that I wanted to surprise Mimpa. Well, you know, he's making those farms. Um, so I thought it would be a nice little, a nice little thing to, to give him like a beacon box kit. However, I don't have, I don't, I only have six shulker boxes. And I don't really want to give one of those up. And I think he has his all in his ender chest. So let's just grab one of these. And then we will probably, he could probably use it at his area. So we should probably fly all the way to the Mushroom Island and then leave this little gift for him. So let me head over to the portal and fly over to his um, Mushroom Island. We can leave this little, this little gift for him. But I have to grab the beacon because I don't have that in my inventory. So let me grab that quick and um, I'll see you at the Mushroom Island. All right, so we are here. So let's place it, um, let's place it right here. Make it nice and pretty. Look at that. And I brought a sign with, cause you know, I, I do kind of, I, I do kind of like, I kind of love my sheep. So, um, a gift for my sheep. There. A gift for my sheep with a little heart. There. So now when he comes in game and he comes over here, he'll see this and he'll open it up and be like, oh. And it's all ready for him. So that will help him a lot when he's working on the rest of his slime farm and when he starts doing some of the other stuff that he, he's going to do over here. So there we go. So he has a, he can use one of his own shulker boxes and then he can have a portable, portable beacon. And he can just take it where he needs it. Um, the nice thing too is that uh, the ones that I have, I can do the same thing at our base because I want to continue to work on the uh, basement, but I need to clear all of that stone out. So I'm going to put up a beacon too. So I can effectively clean up that basement area. And with that, our time is up for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. So for next episode, I'm going to hopefully maybe have that little animal pen area finished. We'll see. And then we'll, we'll see what else we're going to do. I kind of want to make a flower farm, but it sounds like a pain in the butt. I'm not sure if I want to do it, but we'll see. I'll probably end up doing it. Uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye!